Hi everyone, I'm Ellie Lee with iHeartRadio and today we are standing on this brisk day. Oh my God, it's cold in front of Teresa's Brick Oven Pizza and Cafe because we're going to have some slices of pizza with Nervo. So you guys pick out as many slices as you want. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be a lot of money. It's so starving. This is the best interview. Okay, so what's the pizza like in Australia? Good. Good? It's good everywhere. You know the, the joke about pizza. What's the joke about pizza? Pizza's, pizza's like, like sex. sex. Even when it's bad, it's, it's still good. good. That's really true. So, <laughs> When did it hit when you both were like... We oh. knew we had to do music? Yeah, when was that moment? Well, the funny thing is, when we were, we were writing songs when we were like 15 years old. That's what we did, like after school, on weekends. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We met a producer. Yeah, because we studied music. Okay, so okay, okay. university music at high school. And we sang. And But when you study music, you don't study modern digital music. You study like classical theory. History and styles, you know, and, and yeah. theory and stuff like that. So, and we, Which, but we sang. So he used to get us in to sing his demos, so then he could pitch them. So after our voice was on a few of his songs, then we started writing with him, and then we just got the bug and we loved it. Where were, where were you living? We were sharing, five of us, in a two bedroom, disgusting place. Like It was on Harrow Road, you know, and back then Harrow Road was really done to, I mean, it's still done. Yeah. It was in West London. During the day, we'd work in the studio. At night, we'd work in bars and restaurants. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then we um, started just living the dream. Yeah, living the dream. But you guys always had each other. We mm. did, and we shared a bedroom. So it was like, it, that's the way we would keep rent down and all that kind of mm. stuff. So if it wasn't for each other, we wouldn't have survived. Oh Those my God. Years. 100%. Yeah, yeah, we, we were at a stage a while ago. A while ago, it was seven years ago. Uh-huh. And we'd written for Kesha, Kylie, Miley Cyrus, all the big DJs. And we were having hits, like bona fide hits around the world. But as a writer, you don't get your publishing royalties sure. until eight months, uh -huh. 12 months after the actual release. Uh -huh. And then we would get our royalties from our top ten in the UK. We'd be like, oh my God, we're going to have to get five hits a year to survive. And so then Liv and I got to a point where we were like, we need to let go of this music biz. We need to like... Whoa. She, Liv was enrolling to be a dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. yeah. And honestly, at that 11th hour, everything changed. Yeah. It just did this we wide. started DJing and we just got an agent and yeah. we started getting booked and I'd get paid to play in a club and then it yeah. was like, and we're like, what? this is like, we've got the last half here. Nero, now that 2018 is upon us, it is. Yes. what are the new plans, the new goals, what are some news? We're playing four times already this year. Amazing. We've already booked four times in New York, like alone. So. And um, no, we're gonna like release loads, no, loads more music. We're mm -hmm. talking to a few different record labels uh -huh. now. Um, we're really excited, and uh, we're here for it all. Uh, and can we <laughs> always do our interviews with people. Absolutely. Uh, Deal. Always, I love always. you guys. Deal. Deal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.